hello everyone so in this video we are going to install the uh, windows server 2025 and it will be a step-by-step -step process and i will guide you how to install it so i will be installing it on a hyper-v so we will launch the hyper-v once we launch the hyper-v we click on new and then virtual machine click next we are going it the name of uh, server 20 25 click next gen 1 ram i will give it somewhere around 8 gb i will give it as a external LAN card as everything i would be keeping it same i have downloaded the iso file so what i will do i will be selecting this next and finish so the basic Hyper-V configuration is done. Now we need to start the VM. As soon you start the VM, uh, it will load the file and it will start installing the server 2025 for us. Let's see what are the options that we are going to see now. Or is there any changes? So now it is asking us to select the language. I will select in by default English United States click next uh, keyboard layout US does not matter anything to me yes now it has given me three options one is I would like to install Windows Server I would like to repair my PC I launch the legacy experience uh, let's select and I want it to I don't have a product key right, right now so what I will do I do not have a product key so it will give you a trial version so uh, now you have two options one is Windows Server 2025 standard desktop experience and one is uh, the command prompt experience so let's do a standard installation with the desktop experience click next accept the license agreement is searching for device disk sorry okay uh, we will select the same one it will automatically format the device and will give the drive letter also okay it has done it so you can see ready to install and what it is going to do is it is installing Windows desktop and keep nothing okay next so you can see installing Windows Server 2% it has started it
so you can see that the installation of Windows Server 2025 is almost done so now we are waiting for the first look and the GUI that it is going to give us so almost 94 percent is completed and it might take a couple of minutes to get it done to 100 percent and then it will ask for a reboot okay so again we do not have do this later or license agreement uh, will accept license read it carefully okay it's asking for us to put a password and this is the password that we are giving it to it and So you can see that uh, so you can see that uh, the installation is completed and it is asking us to sign in. If you see that the appearance look like as a Windows 10 or Windows 11 only and it's and one thing I have noticed about it that it is running on an 8 GB of RAM but still that performance of this PC while installing was quicker than the earlier version of uh, servers that we, we were using so let's see the experience as well how it's look like Wow. So this is how the first Okay, it's asking us to accept the license agreement and it stayed away opening the server console. Now if I minimize it and see the difference that I wanted to show you so somehow the experience looked like like we were having Windows machine Windows 10 machine okay the icons are look somehow similar to that and uh, this is the start button oh yes exactly and let me open the run command yeah as you can see it's similar like Windows 10 experience I wanted to see the add remove in program and what exactly it's look like somehow it has not changed but yeah it's good So this is how you can install the 
server 2025 on your machine and it's quite easy fast thank you so much for watching this video bye bye